Welcome back. Wind energy is expanding at light speed, helping the world move away from fossil fuels linked to planet heating pollution. But there is a problem with wind turbines, a symbol of this technology. What to do with their fiberglass blades when they need replacing? Leave it to Northeast Ohio and the people at One Lorain County Company to innovate a first of its kind solution. Here's Isabel Lawrence. These farms are pumping out a precious commodity, vital to our planet's future. Wind is growing at a rapid pace. We have plenty of open areas where turbines can go. But for all the good in this mode of renewable energy, there exists a problem. Wind turbines don't last forever. The turbine itself and the blade are both built to last about 20 to 30 years. And when they come down, most parts can be reused or recycled. But those decommissioned blades, some outstretching the wings of a Boeing 747, present a Herculean challenge. So fiberglass has long been a problem in the wind industry, what to do with it once it reaches the end of their life. So we were tasked with finding solutions for the blades. Earlier this year, blades started arriving at this Avon building, extending the length of three football fields. This is Canvas. Canvas is a brand. It's a manufacturer of products from retired wind turbine blades that inspires communities to reimagine their spaces. A team of dreamers and innovators, craftsmen and creators, who found a way to deconstruct these massive blades into smaller fillets before moving them onto fabrication, scanning, painting, and finishing. Achieving a result proudly shown here. Benches, tables, swings, and blank spaces transformed by artists. Old blades given new life to serve parks, campuses, and gathering places. It's a collaborative effort reaching beyond the walls of this building. We use rubber that comes from tires and shoes. We use composite lumber, which is made of shrink wrap and grocery bags that you see at any retailer or distribution center. They're also taking the floating islands of plastic in the ocean and putting it into that board. It's virtually indestructible. Outside corporations offer up their own retired materials to support the initiative. And manufacturing partnerships have been built here, united in the same cause. It's spelled C-A-N-V-U-S because it's a canvas for all of us. It's a canvas in an artistic sense for communities to, to be able to paint on our products. It's a canvas for other industries to introduce their recycled materials into our products. It's taken three years of trial and error to get here. Canvas is not the first company to tackle the problem of old blades, but it is the first to take this route, one that remains faithful to a shrinking carbon footprint. Success is not tethered to this company, but it is measured by the blueprint created for others to join them. We hope that Canvas can create a movement of inspiration, of sustainability, to inspire others to reimagine their spaces, reimagine the materials we use, reimagine the ways we dispose of the materials. It's really what we hope Canvas to, to be able to inspire to the world. Isabel Lawrence, 3 News. Canvas has implemented a donor recipient program. Benefactors like corporations get these pieces into communities, which might not otherwise have the funds. It's all about creating reimagined spaces to bring people together. This week, pieces were delivered to the Firelands Local School District, and you can also check out one soon to be installed at Huntington Beach.